What is up guys, Muffin here. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm playing some Stellaris. Now this is gonna be a long video, so I'm gonna jump in as quick as I possibly can. Um, I apologize for how long this video is gonna be in advance, but Stellaris is a game that takes a lot of time. It's a very, I don't know, it's, it's a long game. Um, not particularly in how long it takes to get through the entire game, but setup and everything. There's a lot of attention to detail and everything. But anyway, um, I, I think it's a lot better streamed than it is recorded, but my computer can't really handle streaming right now, but it can handle recording. So let's get straight in. We're going to go for a new game. All right, so you can create a new you can select a random or you can go with one of these previously or not previously one of these um default ones um the one that i've done twice now is this one and then i've created one which is a fanatical purifier which you'll see later in the game if i make this a series um but for the um i i think for the sake of uh being fast um I think we should do... Oh, you know what? I think it, it does do ones that you've done before. Um, maybe these aren't all default. I'm not quite sure. Maybe these are ones I've played before. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... We're just going to go with this one here. Um, I'm going to edit it a little bit. Um, in the name, I think, of the Empire. Specifically in, like, the flag. Um... I have some DLC, but not all of it. I'll have to list in the description what DLC I'm running on this right now. Um, but, oh, there's a whole thing over here. I don't know if that actually will show up in the thing. Um, but I have a bunch of DLC. Um, uh, I don't remember off the top of my head, and I don't really, by looking at that, I wouldn't be able to tell what's what. Um, we're just going to go ahead and change... Um, I like that design, and we'll go with, like, the circle. I don't know. I'm trying to find something that, like, isn't the same as the one that I have, or the two, or, yeah, the two saves that I have right now. Um, species name. Let's change the species name as well. Um, just because, like I said, I have a couple empires that are, like, the, the same default preset. Um, and then we can go to empire, and we can go like that. I like that. That sounds good. Um, I don't think there's really anything else I want. I'm going to go with what was already assigned to me, government ethics-wise. Um, so, uh, egalitarian, materialist, xenophile, uh, democratic, of course, diplomatic core, and beacon of liberty as my civics. Um, and I, I think that's it. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And then we're going to hit done. Um, I'm going to look at the game settings right now just to make sure that they're exactly what I want them. And um, I have a game right now that I'm 150 years into a 1,000-year game. Um, the game starts at 2,200, and my save, uh, like the victory year, is 3,200. I don't want this to be quite that long. Um, we're going to change this to elliptical because that I feel like I'm best working with. Um crisis type random that's all in game stuff so here uh mid game start year 2350 even that i think is honestly kind of long 2300 for um mid game i think is is pretty pretty good you know maybe we'll do 2350 and then 2500 being um we'll do like 2475 as like the uh the end game so you have 125 years from mid-game to end-game, and then the victory year we can do 25-25. Um, I don't like that. That's only 50 years. Although, I, you know what? Maybe that's best. We'll do we'll do the 25-25. We'll just do that. Have it on cadet difficulty, uh, no scaling, uh, AI aggressiveness is normal, all that fun stuff. We won't mess with too many. There's a lot of settings you can mess with. I'm not going to do Iron Man mode. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit play. So like I said, this is a very, um, a very involved game. There's a lot that goes into it. There's a lot of management. Um, and it's, it's a lot of fun. I, I really do enjoy this game. And like I said, I have a really, really long save going right now that I'm doing quite well at. Um, they just released an update. You know, nice. I love that it goes not responding every now and then. Um, they just received, or they just, uh, 
put out an update either yesterday or today, and I just downloaded it tonight before recording this. We will um, stand as one in the face of our enemies. Okay, cool. I'm going to change that straight off the bat. Um, but they just put in an update, so it kind of messed with uh, the way I was running my other empire, and I had to kind of wait it out for a second. All right. So, decades ago, when our first crewed sublight probes visited the star systems neighboring our own, we discovered the presence of two distinct alien civilizations. Despite the radical differences in our physiology, it quickly became apparent that we had more things in common than not. Like us, they were also on the cusp of unlocking practical interstellar travel. A bond was formed between our three civilizations, which eventually led to the birth of a federation. We would combine our efforts, and when we were ready to spread out into the cosmos, whatever was out there would be faced by us standing together. We're going to go ahead and hit begin. New federation present. That would be our federation, uh, because this save starts off with a federation already and two friendly empires. Um, the I'm going to pronounce it Savelli. Savelli Federation Confederation has finally encountered fellow wanderers among the stars, despite their intentions being unknown and potentially even hostile, the atmosphere on Corinth Prime following the report from our contact fleet can best be described as rapturous. Intriguing. Oh, another thing. We made first contact with mysterious aliens in the Frary system. For now, we have codenamed them Alpha Aliens until we can find out more about them. If they possess a language, we must decipher it in order to establish communications. Mm -hmm. And first mm -hmm. contact with an entity. So you can see there, there's already a, a shit ton of stuff to go through. Um, First thing I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to go into advisor and I'm going to change it. Priority alert. There we Please go. disregard the contents of my previous message. So you can choose uh, based on what government you have. Obviously, um, it, it'll select you one already, or you can go custom and go through different ones. Um, I prefer the original just because that's the one I started with. Um, I, I believe when I started playing this game, there weren't any of these, and you just had one advisor voice. So I like that one. So we're going to go out of that. Like I said, there's already a ton of stuff that needs to happen. So first things first, I don't like that. Um, so the way I play this game is the first thing that's super important to me is expansion. Um, basically, I'm going to try to expand as far as possible, as quick as possible, um, in a sustainable way, obviously. But um, I want to make sure that I have a lot of systems under my control for reasons that I'll get into later if this becomes a series. Uh, we're losing Federation XP, we'll worry about that later. But let's worry about the research. So this is a, a crucial part of the game. Um, selecting this stuff will upgrade military stuff. It'll upgrade, obviously, research you can see there. There's a whole bunch of stuff you could do with it. So the first thing I'm going to do is... Let's go with just physics research up, society research up. Um, and we'll do engineering research up just to kind of get us flowing uh, with some more research. Now, it says 77 months remaining. You might, you know, you'll have to deal with that at first. It's going to be kind of long. Eventually, um, you'll end up with like 20,000 ones. But as you go create research stations, get more stuff, it, it's, it balances itself out. Um, so, new Federation present. Let's just, oh, that takes us to our own world. Let's look at the Federation real quick. So, members, we have us, we have... The, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that interstellar autocracy and the Zach Plot Nation. So we have some a military dictatorship, but friendly to us. And then the other one, whatever it is, friendly to us. We can get rid of that notification. Um, first contact. I have five envoys available. I might as well. Um, we can go ahead and do that. Um, so like I said, I have a big file that I'm playing right now in my off time. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do with Envoys, which again, was not a thing when I first started playing, is assign one at least to um, the Federation. Uh, that way, you know, we, we are contributing to it, we're helping out, there's certain stuff you could do with your Envoy. And then the, another one I put on the first contact, that way we can investigate it and maybe make contact with another alien species. The only other thing I think I want to do before I hit play right now is... Empire Capital. So there's buildings missing down here. Open building slots. Um, I can put some stuff there as I see fit. I think I'm going to turn automation on. Oh, you know what? That's right. I uh, probably shouldn't do that yet. Um, honestly, I'm not really sure what I want to put in there yet. We're just going to leave that go for a second. Um, 
So I have a fleet of 111 power, uh, no leader to it, but and three ships. All three are corvettes. So that's like the base level ship that you get. Um, first thing I want to do is take my science ship. So before you can take systems over, you have to survey them, which requires a science ship. So you'll see here, right click there, and survey system. So he'll go through, survey all the planets and everything in there. If we find anomaly, an anomaly, we can research that, and then we can extend forward. And then we send a construction ship, and we can build a star base there. Um, so I want to get this system, and then I can take that, and then I can deal with this as I see fit. Hostile fleet alpha aliens, because we don't know who they are. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play. And we're going to, I'm going to ramp this up to, uh, Incoming transmission speed. Um, just because, like I said, games can get long, playing at the fast speed helps. Um, just remember to pause when important things like this are happening. Um, so Zach Plot Nation, one of the, uh, federations, or one of the federation members, um, would like to establish mutual embassies. Absolutely. If they're in a federation, I feel like we should always do that. It helps with your uh, diplomacy. Um, and then from the other guys, a research agreement. We'll go ahead and do that. And as you can see, there were zeros all there. Um, but as we go on, we will, it, that'll go up. Um, and we'll, we'll be able to give each other some more stuff. Um, there's nothing open straight off the bat there. Okay, so we'll deal with that when the time comes. Incoming transmission. So I'm assuming the same things for the other ones. Yeah, research agreement with them, absolutely. And mutual embassy is absolutely for them as well. I think it just makes sense. So you can see they're going to expand that way, they're going to expand that way, and we're going to go this way. Um, everybody's going to expand in their own way. And we're actually, interestingly enough, um, I started down here, and I have like pretty much this entire area uh, on my Incoming other farm. Incoming transmission. All right, before we go into this, we're gonna go with the, oh, we can't, well, okay, cool. Um, ooh, pause, please. The ISS Cadman the Restore crew are eager to report they've uncovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring species on Atribin 6, uh, who appear to have inhabited the planet some seven million years ago. They call themselves the Grunner. Disappeared from the system, our scientists have isolated a promising archeological dig site on their planet. Mm -hmm. And those, um, I assume that's out here. Okay, cool, great. Um, yes, archeological mm -hmm. site. So as we go on, you can have your science ships um, excavate that and get you some interesting stuff. Um, so those two entered a research agreement, that is fine. Um, and then there is migration treaty. Again, they're in a federation, absolutely. The friendlier we are with them, the better. Um, Incoming transmission. Because we will eventually fight wars with them. Same thing with them. We will eventually fight wars with them, so, like, with them at our side. So I think it's important to be as friendly as possible and learn as much from each other. Um, because in this, you know, democratic and, and diplomacy, uh, like, in this just diplomacy centric uh, uh, empire, it's important to do that. When you're playing something like a fanatical purifier and you're just murdering everybody, then it, you can't really do diplomacy, so you just murder everybody. Uh, I'm usually expanding and upping my military. First contact event pending. The, irregular, the irregularity we had designated as alpha aliens appears to be made of some sort of crystalline material. Curiously, it seems to be able to propel itself across the void and protect itself when necessary, indicating that it may be alive. Our researchers are working hard to find out more. Now, I already kind of know where that's going because I've played before and I've had this one before. But it's it's an interesting to see how this goes. Um, I am going to go into my fleet manager and up that to five. When you're in early game, I find it's easiest to do small amounts. Um, I could up that to 20 and try to reinforce it, but I feel like it's easier for me to just go small amounts, reinforce. Um, so you can see it'll cost alloys there, you know, which we don't really have that many of. Um, but it's important to um, to keep your military up. Because again, you're going to encounter pirates, you're going to encounter hostile fleets and systems, you're going to encounter other empires that want to fight you. So and while war takes a while usually to build, um, it's just nice to have a military that's ready for it. Um, 
Can I build anything here? No, because I do not have enough minerals to that is fine. Whatever. Um, so influence is a very important thing that you'll find when it comes to war and expanding. Um, I was in a race at one point in my other file to expand into an area that had um, some important stuff in the system um, versus one of my federation members, actually. And I almost ran out of influence, which you can't build a an outpost here and claim it as yours without influence. That was almost really bad. I almost lost a good bit to that, but I luckily I, I was able to keep it. So you've got a whole bunch of orders for surveying. Um, ooh, habitable world survey. That is a whole um, a chain that you can get. Uh, we now know without a doubt that both thriving biosphere is not, or why did I say both? That a thriving biosphere is not something unique to Corinth Prime. Both the scientific community and the public at large are eager to learn more about the various forms of alien life throughout the galaxy. Efforts to catalog life forms we encounter are already underway, but our xenobiologists have urged us to focus on our planetary survey efforts on habitable, life-bearing worlds. So we can say, no, we're not doing this and not start the chain, get 20 influence. Honestly, I think it's best to begin the survey chain. Situation log updated. And there's the update. So you can see anything we've encountered here. So habitable world survey. Eight habitable worlds, which you'll get just by surveying new systems that you want. That I'm not super worried about yet, but we'll we'll eventually get that. Um, and then some other stuff that is there. Um, since we have the alloys to do it, I'm gonna do that real quick because it couldn't, shouldn't cost much to secure that. And then I'm gonna get that and that one and then start expanding down this way. Cause I'm not really sure what the alpha aliens are yet. Um, or according to this, I'm not sure what they are yet. And I don't know if they're going to be considered hostile or not. All right, so traditions available. So this is a big thing that you get to do every so often. Um, and you'll see once we spend our influence, um, how long that's gonna be. So here you have Diplomacy, which you already have one thing unlocked here, which is the Federation. Um, that comes with this specific Empire setup. Um, so you can increase different stuff. And as you finish them, obviously you can see um, Diplomatic Weight plus 10% available Envoys and an Ascension Perk, which are super cool things that you can get through here. Um, or you can go in and you can select one of these. I think in my other one I have Discovery. I, or maybe I have, I got Domination, Expansion, Subterfuge, and something else, I don't remember. Okay, um, but you know, look at what it gets you to adopt, what it gets you to finish, and then what are some of the stuff inside it. Um, honestly, I think right away I'm gonna go for Expansion. Uh, diplomacy is important, however, Expansion, um, I, I think is also very important to have. Um, first contact, well, we should pause for this too. Like I said, it's a long game, mostly because a lot of this event stuff is happening and you pause the game as it's going on so you can read it before more events pop up. Um, finished investigating reports of extraordinary free-floating crystal-like objects, uh, ship-sized objects, and their slightly smaller but equal crystal-like satellites at first appeared in Earth, but sudden ships in their orientation relative to our ship Ships and new energy signatures emerging from within the prisms indicate that they might be alive. A fascinating prospect to be sure, but they should be approached with caution. So we can go fascinating creatures, uh, crystalline study special project, get some influence, or crystalline. I honestly, I like, I think I want this Canadian one. Empire has established communications. They haven't really established communications, but they are hostile. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. So what's the special project? Okay, so finishes in 65 months. How long until that's done? 50. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it straight away. Yeah, we'll start that. Um, I may have to actually kill all of those then. Um, if I didn't pick the can't learn or learn to coexist one, I guess I'm probably gonna have to kill them, which makes even more sense for um, upping our military. The only thing that sucks is where they spawned. Um, because they spawned right here, which means I can't really expand down here yet. 
um, because I can't go through there. They're hostile to attack my ships. And my army is not anywhere near good enough to deal with that. So we're going to go like that. We're up at seven. I'm just going to keep doing that until I build a sizable fleet. Um, how close are you? Since you're pretty close, I'm going to send my science ship out, or my construction ship out that way. Start getting it in the process of moving, because it takes, as you can see here, uh, arrival date 80, 80 days. So it's going to take a while for them to get out there. So I'm going to kind of get them moving in the right area. And then my science ship, when it is done, I can have it go over there. I will want to get the engineering research that is over here at a research station, wherever it is. Um, even though it's only two, any makes a difference, you know, I'll tell you that much. Um, let's see, what do we have over System here? survey complete. Cool. Interesting stuff. We'll have to look at whether we need a, like, mining stations and stuff there. Send our science ship uh, on up here. And you can go ahead and build a starbase outpost. So you can see 75 influence, which is a lot in early game especially, um, and 90 alloys. So we'll just go ahead and get that done. That means that my neighbors cannot expand into those systems. I'm surprised they actually haven't tried doing that um, because if they don't, they might do it. And it looks like they're actually uh, planning on that. And that did happen in my last file where one of the starting, our starting three um, got stuck and was only one system big, which meant in the end, you know, its economy and everything was super low because they, you know, didn't really get out and they didn't survey a lot. Um, super tiny, literally one system, one planet. complete. Cool. So while we're waiting for that to be done, we can just go ahead and like... Anomaly found. Oh, okay. Ooh, pause. So you got the leader experience game. That's cool. An anomaly found, we might as well go for it. We're not really on too tight of a timeline. Um, we can go ahead and, and just build a mining station there, get the three extra minerals that it will get us. Not super worried about it, but it, you know, we can assign a leader here, which by the way, this is different now. Um, just yesterday when I played, I didn't have the update and it costs like, I don't know, I think it was like 200 energy credits um, to hire one of these guys now influence and it has an influence upkeep or sorry um, unity upkeep which is interesting um so yeah it's like i don't know why that one costs less they're all level one but i don't know we're just gonna let it go for now because i don't really need them to have an admirable or an admirable yeah an admiral at the moment let this play out see what's up. I really would love to take these guys out. That's the most annoying part right now, is that I can't really do anything. Like, I can expand into there, sure, but I can't expand down here. Ooh, a continental world. I Wet climate continental world? Complete. That is good for us. That means that we very well may be able to colonize that planet. And it looks like it would be a reasonably safe planet, too, considering the only way into that system is there. That's something we'll have to think about later. Um, I'm going to go ahead and build a research station over there to get that engineering research. And then I should really um, look at what I want to get here. So we produce all of this stuff. We don't have any deficits, which is super awesome for now. Uh, we could do another civilian industry. Although I don't know how useful that is right now. Um, just gonna kind of look down through. I'll keep it playing for now. Um, honestly, I think a research lab would be good to have. Uh, as well as maybe doing just a mining district to get us some more minerals. New tradition available. Fantastic. So, uh, we can go for Reach, the star reach for the Stars. Starbase influence costs reduced by 10%. Uh, new colonies start with one additional pop, which will eventually get pop growth speed. This leads to starbase upkeep reduced and empire size reduced, which again is different. It used to be empire sprawl. Um, 
so it's interesting. I'll have to learn how to manage that difference. Um, embassies will produce more unity. Uh, Federation naval capacity is not super important right now because we don't have one. I'm going to go for Reach for the Stars just because we're early game is a lot of expanding. Once you hit, like, once you get closer to mid to late game, you're not expanding anymore. Um, you're mainly just, like, I don't know how to explain it. You're managing your resources still, and you're you're building your military, um, and still trying to learn stuff. But you're not expanding as much. So I think expansion is a very good one to get out of the way now. All right. <clears throat> uh, gigantic skeleton. What was previously thought to be a sort of mountains in the southern hemisphere of that planet. Uh, have been identified as the massive skeletal remains of a single colossal alien life form. The bones have been dated about 3.4 billion years old, but our scientists have ruled out that that planet could have supported life on that scale at any point in the moon's history. The science officer has prepared a special research project. Situation log updated. Which we will deal with when we're done investigating, or when we're done surveying. Um, we'll go ahead and, and do that because that, I wonder what that will get us. Um, but yeah, like I said, this may be a series, it may not. It all depends on if people are interested, if I want to keep going with it. You know, there's, there's a lot of variables. But um, I do love this game. What do we got going on down here? We got unemployment and a lack of amenities. So maybe... We'll do Hollow Theaters as our next one. Just keep up with the amenities. Keep people happy. Keep stability up. Because that's something you'll, you'll run into crime and a whole bunch of wild stuff. Sometimes it gets really uh, interesting. I don't really need... Construction oh, complete. All right. Construction complete there. Sure. Then I'm going to get you moving over here for now because once the survey is complete we'll go ahead and construct a an outpost there and probably a research station to get the uh, physics research because the more research stations you have the more research you get the faster your technology research goes the faster this stuff will go and when you do like special projects and stuff you can get more research or you know some stuff that um will give you like 10% of a certain research item. There's a lot of interesting stuff you can get into with that. But right now we're just kind of playing the passive game, I guess. Um, we'll go to 10 then. Um, you're just kind of expanding, you know, increasing your military and just kind of hanging out. Obviously we do System have survey continental complete. world there. Since you're not doing anything else, we're going to go ahead and have you research that project in the system, which should take you, well, let's see, situation log, boom. Um, oh, it doesn't say because my science ship is not there yet. You are researching a special project. Time, 180 days. Not super long. I've had some, well... I'm dealing with one right now that's a whole big research project that takes, I think it's like five years or something. Um, oh, you're just hanging out there? Cool. You're going to build a starbase outpost there. Once we get factions, we'll get some more influence. It'll be a little bit easier to expand fast, but uh, let's see. So we need ooh, almost a thousand fleet power, really, to take over that. It's kind of disappointing. It's really hampering our ability to get out there. So maybe the next research will be focused on our military power. As much as I don't, you know, I want to focus on research right now. Military power kind of needs to be up as well in order for us to really get through this. Uh, that's almost done. Construction complete. All right, so you made Starbase there. I'm going to go ahead and make you build a research station there. And then we may special actually... Special project complete. All right, special project complete. Our continued studies uh, managed to set some light on how the creature ended up on the moon. Uh, theorizes that the creature passed through the gateway from another dimension only to quickly perish in a hostile environment. Cool, so we got some physics research that we gained, and our scientists will level up. That is awesome. Um, so since you're done with that, I really don't 
I mean, I'm, I might as well just have you excavate that site for now. Uh, it is what it is. Because, like, like I said, right now it's just kind of hanging out. Not really doing too much. Um, but, you know, I might actually colonize that world. Let's look at it real quick. How much would it cost to colonize? With our own people. Uh, 200 alloys. Uh, ooh. Ow, that's expensive, but could realistically be a very good idea. Built a research station there. Cool. Um, I'm not really sure like, what to have my construction ship kind of do now, because there's not really... I mean, just come over here and get another mining station. We're not, not really super useful right now. I'm just going to keep upgrading the military, because like I said, we need almost a thousand... Or we need over a thousand fleet power to deal with that. Um, so we can go with Empire Size Reduced or Starbase Upkeep Reduced. Honestly, our Empire Size is fine for now. Let's do that one. You'll get a lot of them in the early game and it'll get... Um, it'll take longer as you go on. So you're building another ship. And then our military will be at its full capacity at the moment. All right. Well, this video has gone on for a while, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end it off here. I'm going to kind of let stuff play um, until the end. So the scientists that are doing research leveled up. Um, so anyway, I'm going to kind of leave it off here. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you like this or not. Um, I want to continue playing it, but I don't know if I'm going to continue making videos on it. All depends on a lot of different things. But if you enjoyed, leave a like. Special and if, uh, project complete. Oh, cool. We're going to do this real quick, and then I'll end the video. Uh, crystalline entities. Um, uh, so that doesn't matter. The vast majority reject that. Okay, there's a lot of words here. I'm not going to read all this. Um, so, let's see. Which can be violently unleashed and appear as those spread fluctuations start? Okay, so our options are sounds potentially useful, energy credits plus... Or, uh, from jobs plus five percent or crystal infused plating i'm gonna go with that because military um but anyway uh so yeah if, if you enjoy leave a like and uh, if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe and uh, see you in the next video